Follow me on Twitter. Do I just sit back in now? <laughs> Oh, hey, welcome to the Eric Show. Oh my God, episode 10, guys. Seriously, I'm excited. And we do have a great show for you guys. But first, the guy that pronounces GSK. Whoa, this show is some great sex. I'm coming. The guy that pronounces GSK. And we do have a great show for you guys, but we have to take a short commercial break. We'll be right back after these messages. takes on the mob. You're the largest person I've ever seen. You should see my mother. On the next Family Matters. Tonight at 7.30 on the WB Channel 11. Okay, welcome back to the Eric Show. We had a couple of things going on this week at Eric's Flicks. I hope you guys enjoyed Marie and Marie's video that I put out. I hope you guys enjoyed the new supermarket video at Target. There was a lot of requests for the Togs. Target, as some of the um, married women call it. Guys, I I'm, I'm very well aware that the camera it makes that little shape. Please, don't insult my intelligence. I'm very well aware that if you hold the iPhone like this while recording, it will make it full screen. Yes, I know. It's just that the first time I made them with my sister and my mother, I wasn't planning on putting it online. I was just recording us. And then I felt like keeping it uniform and keeping it the same. If I change them now, then everybody would, you know, maybe the other ones, people would hate them and say, Oh my God, I love this one, but I wish it was like this. You don't think I, I'm going to hear that if I do that? Come on, Zed. Come on, Zed. But I appreciate the views very much. I hope you guys enjoyed those videos. Wait until you see my next masterpiece, the What Happened to Rap video. I think you guys are going to love that. I'm working really, really hard on it. Um, that should be up next week or the week after, but definitely look forward to that because you guys are really going to like that. Okay, so we're going to kick things off this week with a little segment called That Shit I Don't Like. That's that shit I don't like. Okay, for this week, we're going to be talking about people talking shit about sports teams. Now, it could be because I'm a Met fan that I have nothing to really brag about, but please, stop going online and bragging about teams that you don't play for. Especially girls who have been to one Yankee game with their boyfriend and then watched one or two with their dad because they were sick or something. Now they come out of the woodwork, oh my god, our captain, he broke his ankle, my cap, what are we going to do about my cap? And what the fuck is this we talk? Yeah, we did it. Yeah, we made it. We're going for the championship, boys. No, you're fucking not. My absolute favorite shit-talking moment would have to be when the Patriots had the undefeated season in 08. Don't get me wrong, I was rooting for the Giants. I'm very happy that they won. But I saw like 10 or 20 statuses that were like, Yeah, Brady, how you like that? You wish you were us now, right, Brady? Yeah, Tom Brady wishes he was you. Do you guys realize that, yes, I'm sure that sucked because he lost the Super Bowl and he's a competitive player. But do you understand that Tom Brady went home to his castle of a house and literally fucked his supermodel wife on a pile of money. But you know what? I bet you're right. I bet Tom Brady would trade all of that in so he could hang out with the kids he went to high school with, get drunk at 7 in the morning on a Monday, and be like, yeah, Eli! I bet you Tom Brady forgot about that one giant loss when he woke up in two days and realized, holy shit, my life is fucking perfect. <laughs> That's that shit I don't like. I love Planet Wings, but it runs right through me. I think, yeah, I think it's time for shit thoughts. I bet you that people forget Bono is the symbol for artist on your iPod. Hmm. But I still haven't found what I'm looking for. That, was song, that song was like 20 years ago. He had to have found what he was looking for by now. They should come out with a new song. Hey, guess what? I finally found that thing I was looking for. That'd be much better. Oh, well, that can't be good for my neck. Everyone's attic smells exactly the same. She got a big booty, so I'll call her Big Booty. That is just brilliant writing. 
Clueless, the TV show, was nowhere near as good as the movie. Do not eat. <laughs> Who the fuck grabs Ajax and starts eating it? Dear Eric, let's retweet. This week I actually got a good amount of questions, so let's get down to business. From Ali S. The guy that pronounces GSK is my fave. Please tell me that's based off a real person. If not, how did you come up with it? Great question, Allie. Um, I've been noticing for a long time that some people do that and they don't even realize it. I had a teacher in the second grade. She was a nun. She was Filipino. And she would say, no talking. And when I was like seven, like, oh my God, this woman's hilarious. And over the years, I just noticed that more and more people like, did it. They don't even realize that they do it. And me and my brother Keith just started doing it a lot. You know, mom, I can't right now. I'm tweeting. Jessica, another great episode of The Eric Show. Thank you, Jessica. Here's a thrilling question. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Well, Jessica, I would do absolutely anything to not eat a Klondike bar. I think they're fucking disgusting. I love this question. It's either Janelle or Jonelle. I think it's Janelle. What were you like in high school? Has your style and taste in music changed? The Eric Show. P.S. I love you, even if you say my name wrong. I'm sorry, she knew I was gonna say her name wrong, and I did. I let her down. Guys, let it down. I, I, I didn't realize how stupid I was. Even though I butchered your name, I think that I was kind of the same in high school. Um, Angels and Airwaves and The Killers were my favorite bands since I was like 16. So that really hasn't changed at all. And uh, still like the same rappers. I didn't really know about Drake. He's the only really new addition that I really love since high school. My style, I used to think that I was in G-Unit or something. When I was like 15 and 16, I would wear the baggiest clothes in the world. In Staten Island, you wore, you know, the North Face, the, the black on top with the blue on the bottom, a, um, a Nextel on your hip, reversed so you could see the back of it. <laughs> Other than that, I wore a lot of Hollister. I don't wear Hollister ever anymore, so my style has definitely changed. My, my music has pretty much stayed the same, though. Great question, Janelle. Jonelle? Is it Janelle or Jonelle? We'll have to get back to her. Okay, Morgan, she says, too many desperate shoutouts, LOL. Real question, if you had merchandise, what would you put on the t-shirts? Fans since 08. Oh, this could take a while. That's a great question. I mean, obviously I'd have like a shirt with like an oil painting of Joe Albano on it with like a mustache. And I've actually always wanted to make one of those shirts. Like, you know those Obama shirts that says, uh, change and it has him in like the blue and red? I've always wanted to have that as, as me and then instead of change, it would say strange. But I make weird merchandise that no one would even know it's my shirt until you select the back. Like, it would say, Idaho, Utaho, and then Eric show on the back. Or like, Mad Hood shit. Like, instead of Sonic the Hedgehog, it'd be like, Chronic the Breadhog. Great questions, everybody. Now, let's shout out the people. Tiffany, fan since the MTV Cribs days. Jitterbug, give a real fan a shout out. Mwaz, mwaz, oys. Chris, I love you too, Chris. I love you too. Sam C. Always seeing Eric D'Alessandro give shout outs to girls, I know, but not me. Come on, sexy. I'm in love with you. Put me at the end of your video. Yo, Sam. There you is. Yo, yo, that you. Yo, that man, no. Amanda Daniels, I want that in writing. I am now your favorite person. Nicole. I got you, boo. I got you. We got Joe saying, let's talk about how Eric D'Alessandro only shouts out females on his videos. Okay, Eric. I see how it is. I want to be on the Eric show, though. There you go, Joe. You aren't a female, are you? It's not my fault that girls like me better than guys. Or what would you like me to do? Force guys? Yo, man, what's up? If I finish playing basketball with some guy, yo, man, what's going on? You wanna, you wanna shout, you wanna, wanna shout out my show? He punched me in the face. Okay, so that's gonna do it for this week's Eric show. Please look out for the What Happened to Rat video. His little uh, preview. So that's gonna do it for this week. Keep it in the hood. ASAP. ASAP E. <laughs> huh? Oil? Who's talking about some oil, bitch? You cooking? Oh. Oh.